So while we're here today, Father God, we ask you to let your spirit have it way in our lives. And throughout the day, Father God, we ask you for your guidance, protect wherever we go, wherever we do. Even in this house, Father God, we ask for a blessing that you bless our soul, our spirit, that we would have spiritual food for us to carry us on. But this I pray, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I declare our devotion service now that open that we may have a prayer, song, whatever the Lord laid on your heart this morning, a testimony, whatever the Lord laid in your heart to do this morning, please help us out on this devotion. Amen. 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 God has been good to all of us. Without God, yeah. I could do nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, my life would be broken like a ship without a sail. Without a doubt, he is my savior. My strength alone I sway. In the water, he is my anchor. Through faith, he'll be my stay. Without God, I could do nothing. Without him, Continue praying for me, and I pray for you the best I know how. And to my daughter, 
Where'd you have a job? Be alright. Let me pick a little bit. Hey man, I know I'm not uh, one that love to talk all the time, but sometimes I get talking about the Lord. There's one thing I love the Lord with all my heart. And I love to, I'm just thankful and grateful for all of what the Lord has done for me. I even think of what he's going to do for me tomorrow. Tomorrow hasn't even got here yet because I believe. Amen. And not trusting him. Amen. And, 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 and tomorrow don't be like I want it to be. Uh, it still be what God wants to be. Amen. And I'm still going to be thankful. And some people get complaining. About everything, complain even about the day uh, before he get here. But for me, I'm just thankful all the time. Regardless of what I hear in life, I, I just love that. I just love the Lord that much. And I pick on my knees about towards the time. I don't stand sometimes. People got to wait till the light go down for them to give the Lord a praise. I don't have to wait for a big church for me to pray God. I can do that home by myself. I get in the morning, Lord, I thank you. Why you see what the outside look like on the outside, but you see God bright sunlight coming through the window, and that's it. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Not only my eye came open, but I could see them. Thank you. I thank you. And, and sometimes so I don't try to make people say it. I don't try to make people give God praise. You know what God had done for you. Amen. Amen. You know when you were down, how he picked you up. You can tell somebody when you die. If you ever been down, Lord, pick you up, you can get God praise. Yeah. You know how to yeah. get God yeah. praise when you yeah. 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 you ever been broke and they have no man and God and God still yet find a way. I've been there. That's what come I praise him all the time. Amen. That's why I give God the praise. Amen. 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 I'm like I'm like Reverend Mark. Amen in my pocket. Amen, Amen. Amen Jay. So I'm saying I love the Lord. Give, give him a yeah. praise. No. And, and I, 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 no. I don't firm believe you can't make nobody do anything. Yeah. But you know what? I will tell you this. When you send a praise up, when you give God a blessing, I'm saying a praise. So come on, oh, see you there. Go ahead. Blessing, I'm blessing, come down. Very I just wanted to say, um, first of all, I thank God for waking me up. I was able to see, walk, and I had food in, in my house. I mean, and that's a blessing along. I could talk, I could walk, and I thank God for leading me out this way. Amen. Uh, thank God for family, and I ask my niece for need or whatever job you don't take, I'll take it, baby. You in church now? Oh, I won't take it, baby. <laughs> know one thing about me. I want like to tell you what the word of God said. Yeah, well. Whether you like it or not, whether it fit your shoes or not, I want like to tell you what the word of God said. And that God saying I tell my children, when I turn about 95, I'll stop preaching to you. <laughs> I think it's cold. I rose um, to thank the church and everyone for praying for me and my family during the time that my um, brother's were hurt. My brother was hurt. Um, this, um, update is all the stitches and the staples are out now. Yeah. Man, yeah. well, he's went back to work. Excellent. And my yeah. nephew that did the bus stab, he's getting the much needed mental health that he's needed. Yeah. So thank y'all so much for praying for me and my family. About two years now, I've been asking people at the church to pray for my daughter-in-law that were in need of a kidney. And see, like every time they took her to child and they started to have a kidney, something went wrong. And she never got the kidney. She on dialysis uh, uh, just about every other day. And I thank God. A couple months ago, they found a kitten. Amen. 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 Every two weeks, each week she go back for a checkup, she get better and better. Amen. She took her day, day, guess what? 
They scared my appointment and where I and said, I don't have to come as a week. Because hey. God, God is in the blessing of God. Amen. And I, I, sometimes I, I talk so much, sometimes I forget. But things like that what make me give God a praise. Amen. 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 I worry about time too much anyway. Okay. Uh, in your hand, Papa Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Deacon May, and each of you for taking part in the devotional service. Um, let us just rise to our feet and just give God a high praise. Hallelujah. 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 One more time. You may be seated. We are here today. It's uh, another third Sunday. We do celebrate our youth on the third Sunday. We thank God for uh, being in the house. Um, and we've been celebrating our youth today. We also uh, are thankful that the Lord has blessed us to be able to come together one more time. Because I don't know about you, but when I laid in my bed at last night early this morning, it wasn't as assured that I would be here today. But God has blessed me that I'm able to assemble in the house of the Lord one more time. And I'm so glad about it. We're going to have our announcements this morning uh, from uh, Brother Jamie Green. Green, he's not here today. All right. We have a standing for Brother Green. If not, I'll, I'll be young today. Amen. Sunday after service, I would like to meet with all the ushers, both young and old. Give me the 15 minutes I will serve on first Sunday in April. And anyone that like to join the usher man, you are welcome to join in with me. And those ushers that are not here that you know about, my senior usher, retired usher, unreal usher, whatever they are, that you meet them, see them. Tell them they may want to see all us. First Sunday April for at least 15 minutes. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Amen, amen. We thank uh, our youth. Let us continue to encourage our youth and let us support them and let us work with them. And we're all growing, we're all learning, and we're all working together for the common cause of Christ. We thank God for each of you and for what God is doing in our lives. And we're so delighted to be here this morning. We want to remind you. Uh, this afternoon that we'll be a funeral here at the church at 2.30. Uh, and uh, I think it's uh, Willie Dupree. Right. Right. I want to make, make sure I got the name right. Uh, 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 Pastor uh, Webster and from Washington Branch will be bringing the eulogy this afternoon. So let us pray for with and for the Dupree family. Let us encourage one another. We're so delighted to see our youth standing at the door this morning. Give our youth a time to all of you to have them in the midst. And as we continue to uh, work to fill our youth department, uh, let us yeah. pray with our youth. Let us encourage our youth. Yeah. We all have some things that we need to improve on. I have things I need to improve on. So we know that... Uh, our youth, they are growing and they are improving. So yeah. let us encourage them in every positive way we can. And if you have to, if you have to give some critique, you know, we have to be criticized. We have to be critiqued. Amen. But do it in love. Amen. Do it in love. Amen. Everything that we do in the house of the Lord should be done within love. Amen. We'll talk more about that later on. Um, that's, that's a reminder. Uh, our monthly business meeting will be uh, Saturday, uh, April the 1st at 4 p.m. It'll be live in-house here, so we ask that you would join with us for our meeting. Um, I would like to uh, see the deacons uh, immediately after service. If you just give me about three minutes of your time after service this morning. We're thanking God for uh, our work. Minister Howard, we thank God for Amen. the deacons, the trustees, mothers, this wonderful choir. Give them a hand. Good morning. Good morning. 
Welcome to Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We're going to ask the choir to give us our opening selection. We Yeah. 
praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people who believe in us, who kindness is great towards us and the truth of the Lord. And we forever praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord.
and to be a part of Anderson Chapel. Thank you, God. And first, Anderson Chapel is not perfect. And neither is the one within the body that are perfect. Amen. But we are striving to be like our Lord and Savior, Amen. who is perfect. He who died on the cross for our sin. And because he died, he saved us from a mother to his sin. And I'm so thankful this morning for that. And because of that, we assemble together here as a one body in, in Christ. Uh, and as we, as we come today, The, our church covenant prescribes for us having been led as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and on the profession of our faith having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost we do now in the presence of God angels and this assembly most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ we engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love. That's one of the important things that we must do. Walk together in Christian love. Amen. We have the love of Christ within us. We will work together to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort. To promote its prosperity and spirituality. To sustain its worship alternates, disciplines, and doctrines to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of this ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotion, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintance, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our deport. To avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger. To abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage. And to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love. To remember each other in prayer to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling and courtesy in speech, to be slow, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. Amen. We mow up for engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen. This is the church covenant where I wish uh, Anderson Chapel and uh, Baptist churches are bound, missionary Baptists are bound by, and we pray that you will take the church covenant and you will read it, you will find it in your hymnal, you read the church covenant, and we will be going over the church covenant in an individual uh, group training session so that you will further understand. So we thank God for for you today and we are we're gonna start with uh, the the mother. Uh, uh, this certifies that Rachel Dupree has publicly confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and has been received into the full membership of Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church Incorporated the fifth day of March, 2023, and is signed by Pastor. Amen. Certificate of Baptism. This certifies that Brooklyn Morrell was baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit on the 18th day of March, 2023, Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Incorporated, Macclesfield, North Carolina. Pastor. Amen. Malcolm Emmanuel Lewis. Amen. This certificate of baptism certifies that Jeana Dupree was baptized in the name of the Father 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit on the 18th day of March, 2023, Anderson Chapel, Missionary Baptist Church of Macclesfield, North Carolina. Elijah Deckard, Certificate of Baptism. This certifies that Elijah Deckard was baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit on the 18th day of March, 2023, Anderson Chapel, Missionary Baptist Church. Macclesfield, North Carolina. Amen. We thank God for, for each of you. At this time, we have, we have some presentations that we are going to present to you. Uh, we're going to ask our deacon, Deacon Knight, Deacon uh, Jay May to come and help assist us with this. Deacon Knight is going to take the hymn, though, and Deacon May is going to take the Bible, and they are going to, since they're standing on this end here, they'll present it to Eli Elijah, and I will just hand these to these on this end here. They will tell you a little bit about what you will find in these. Amen. Amen. Let me um, to you, not just as a, as a token of your gift, but a way of life, a guide of life, throughout your life, whatever you need in your life, whatever comes your way, that ask that in this book. And if you can't find it after you don't understand the help, there's someone that always from your pastor to your deacon, even in your family, Amen. that can help you. Whatever you go through that, the one thing in the, it, that, that people take everything they want away from you, but as long as you have the word of Christ in you, and you got to get this belief in you, get the word, put deep down in it, inside you, study God's word, that you might be a guideline for you throughout life. You got how young, how old you may be. Stand on the word of God. Amen. 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 And as he presents that Bible to Elijah, I'm going to present this Bible to the workmen. See, uh, the others, you will receive a Bible that was on back order. So, we well, want to make sure that that Bible went into your home. Because hopefully you will sing home so you're able to share that Bible. Amen. And Brooklyn has her own special little Bible. And please. Uh, get with us uh, after service so that they can be uh, properly uh, inscribed to each one of you. We thank God for you. First, give on to the Lord and say, Jesus Christ, I don't know what the pastor gave me to do. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't pull a note. I can't sing a note. And this hymn book is harmony. Peace. Now I know that all of you all can say this, and you all can both know. <laughs> but I want you to put one of those hymns in this hymn book in your heart. Amen. Carry it with you everywhere you go. Amen. And when you say your prayers and and things don't come out like you think it is, there's a hymn in here that gives you peace. Amen. When you say your prayers. Always look back at what's in your heart. Amen. And the Bible is the most important thing that we're giving out here today. Because that's a map to heaven. Amen. But the hymn note will give you peace. Uh, like I said, always have one in your heart. One in your At this time, a definitely announce the chapter. I'd like to present you with the, the new National Baptist hymn. And I want to, I want to say something. Deacon, Deacon Knight say something very interesting here. And over the years, as I will, as the churches I've been, we've always, as we receive members, I've always tried to give a, a Bible or a hymn book to each uh, new member that comes in, each convert. And but as Deacon Knight was saying, as you pray, 
You know, we never give a book of prayers to to the to the uh, new uh, converts, to the new members. And why? But the prayers are very important. You know, as we always do devotion, we always have a have a song, we have a scripture, and we have a prayer. Amen. But I don't give a book of prayers because I don't want you to think that. There is a certain way that you have to pray. Amen. Each one of us, we pray. And the simplest prayer that's ever been prayed was when Peter saw Jesus walking on the water. And he said, Lord, if thou bid me, come, I'll come to you. And Peter began to walk on the water. And he got caught up in himself walking on the water. And he began to sing when he took his eye off of Jesus. And he said, Lord, save me. Amen. A prayer is simple. You don't have to pray like no. You don't have to pray like these other people. But when you pray, yes. Yes. just like Mother Dupree, pray from your heart. Pray from your heart. Amen. Be simple. Be sincere. Amen. And the Lord will hear your prayer. Amen. Amen. Even if it's no more than Lord save me. Because you have accepted him as Lord and Savior. And some say that the Lord doesn't hear a sinner's prayer. He doesn't hear a sinner's prayer like he hears a saint's prayer. Right. But when a sinner prays, Lord, save me, he hears that prayer. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for you today. And as pastor, as pastor of Anderson Chapel, we do welcome you to the fellowship of Anderson Chapel. And you have all the rights and uh, privileges of all the members of Anderson Chapel. And we will, but as pastor and as a Christian education, we have to give you, uh, we used to say, call it the BTU, back to streaming movement. And we need to go back and give the training so that you know what to expect and what to understand as your responsibility to be a part of this church. So as pastor, again, I'm going to start with the mother. And we welcome you. Congratulations to the fellowship. Anderson Chapel Incorporated, God bless you. And we pray that uh, if you have any questions, if you have any need, just uh, reach out to the pastor, the, the deacon, the mothers, yes. uh, and if anyone mistreats you, you know, let us know. Because we supposed to be working together Amen. for the call of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have all have not achieved a high mark. But we're pressing towards the mark of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. Give my hand again. We want to start with the minister Howard. Amen. Deacons, Amen. the mother. Amen. 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 Amen.
First, I give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, to Pastor Lewis, Minister Howard, to our deacons, mothers, members, and friends. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our March birthday list is as follows. You are here today. You can stand up and give your age if you would like. It's optional. <laughs> Sister Ariana Page on the first. Sister Jackie Barnes on the fifth. Mother Nebraska Dupree on the fifth. Mother Martha Johnson on the 21st, and Sister Anna Bynum on the 22nd. Are there any other birthdays in the month of, um, the month of March?
sure did. I did. I met that. And, uh, the 13th, yeah, you know, our daughter Chantel and her husband Julius in Japan, their 17th year anniversary was March the 13th. Amen. Amen. We're going to have our worship and giving with the trustees and ushers in charge.
Brother Johnson, if she'll read, let's see if you share their names. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. James 5, 15. Out sick and shut in. Deacon Lee Owens Barnes, Sister Christy Kennedy, Brother Virgin Edwards, Brother Jesse Fleming, Sister Laura Willoughby, Sister Betty Wooten, and Reverend Robert E. Wooten. Amen. Let us all stand for a word of prayer. We all stand in the even if we don't come to the altar, but I'm welcoming you to come to the altar. So desire. Dear Father God, again, we come, Father God, the arm that we know how. Yes, Lord. Father God, we come for various reasons. Mm -hmm. Some come for one thing, some come for other. Even myself this morning, Father God, I'm doing well, but hurting the body. You know the whole body. So we ask for it now, Father God, not only you touch my body. Mm -hmm. But those that are among us, yes. those that are comfort call, mm -hmm. whatever they may be standing in need of, mm -hmm. we ask you right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father God, just touch right now. Mm -hmm. a, 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 a thing of love. Mm -hmm. A thing of healing. Yes. When we all were standing in need, yes. we ask you right now, Father, we ask you to continue to, we continue to pray for our young children. Yes. Our, our young members that just came on board. Yes. Realize that one of the five, five, this is not an easy journey yes. on our own, but like with you. Yes. So we heard your word, you said, take my yoke upon you. Mm -hmm. yes. You would do it. So we ask you, Father God, God, protect these new colleagues. They're not colleagues, they're your children. Yes, Lord. We ask you, Renee, that God God, protect them. Mm -hmm. And Father God, we're living in a world that is seen that we're held in right. Yeah. We want to call wrong. Mm -hmm. Whatever evil seems to present itself, mm -hmm. seems like we want to surround yes, it yes. and make it right. Yes, Lord. But Father God, you see us. And you know all the things. Oh, yes. It seems like, Father God, we are craving and we're looking for, uh, 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 for anything that will satisfy the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's why I read the scripture this morning about the flesh. We care more about the flesh than we do about the spirit. Amen. So we're praying, Father God, that you touch our spiritual body. We're yes. especially healing this morning. Mm -hmm. Seeing that every time we turn our TV on, or uh, uh, look at our phone for most of us, they kill us on every hand. Some of them we know. Some of them are to us. But still yet alive. So, Father God, we deal with something that seems like we never had to deal with before. A grief or a dying every week from one family to another. So, we pray. Touch each and every family that are going through grief this morning. Build them up. We don't understand it. Mm -hmm. We never understand it. And many times we face death, we still don't understand it. Yes. How far away, how close it is, mm -hmm. we don't understand it. But you do. Yes. You sent your son. Yes. Look back and say, oh, bring where are you? Oh, death, where your victory? He took it upon himself. We know how we came in, mm -hmm. but we don't know how we go out. Father. So, Father God, as we travel through this journey, mm -hmm. teach us, teach us Lord. help us. Help us, my Lord. That's what we bring to us today. Yes. Help, help us be a help to somebody here. Yes. Lord, Lord. Help us help us, Lord. to be a blessing to somebody here. Yes. Help us. Help 
spring and duck. Yes, See, yes. sometimes we just bring to us our need, yes. what we think we need. Yes. We just bring to the altar yes. and just a fresh blessing for ourselves. Yes. But Father God, help us that we be a blessing. Yes. We come here for strength. Yes. So Father God, we live at the altar. We come as an empty belly. More. We come as a need and more. We come to be filled and more. And that's why we thank you for your altar right now. Not only fill up with your physical things, but fill our vessel with the spirits that we give Holy Spirit. So, Father God, in your treasures. And fill up with your spirit. Even though counsel may be raising our body, even though uh, what uh, uh, blood pressure may be high, whatever is going on with you, all things are possible. So we bring it to the altar this morning. Regardless of what we're standing in, I don't know what they're standing in, but I'm just standing as a vessel for you, God, that you touch me. My little boy is just a little uh, uh, tingling in the air, but you see and you hear all things. Yes. So it's not how many words we say. It's not how loud we say. But Father God, I'm speaking for the heart. Yes. Your children are standing yes. at home or in the church, yes. but their heart is here at the office. Yes. Yes. It's just now in the name of Jesus. But this is your servant prayer. Yes. We pray. And let the redeemer of the Lord say, Amen. 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 We're going to ask the um, choir to give us a spiritual selection. And the next voice that you would hear um, after the choir will be our pastor. And that's what we do. I'll be all.
Amen. Every day will be like Sunday. Amen. Out for what? Hallelujah. No more heartaches. Yes. No more dying. No more pain. Every day will be like Sunday. Yes. Out for what? We know we have heartaches. We have pain. We have death on Sunday here. But every day that be like Sunday, Will be, we will be singing and praising God. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be around the throne of God, worshiping and praising God, because that's what we are looking for. No more death. Yeah. No, yeah. More yeah. Yeah. no more pain. No more suffering. Every day will be like yeah. Sunday. A Sunday of worship and praise. Amen. Give it honor to God the Father, the Son, and to the Blessed Holy Ghost. What a joy and a privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Okay. I'm glad to be here. Amen. Because it could have been the other way. Amen. Those of you with your Bibles uh, from the book of James, chapter 1, first chapter of the book of James, if you turn to that passage, we want to acknowledge the did also fail to acknowledge doing uh Lady Lewis was recognized for the birthday's anniversary. Uh, it brought to my attention uh, quite early this morning that uh, five years ago I was very own minister Howard preached her initial son. Amen. And God is still blessing us. Still, she's still holding on. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy. We do realize that there was a funeral here at 2 30, so the Lord will. Allow us this morning, we will do what the Lord will have us to do, and we just pray that you will pray along with us this morning. From the book of James, chapter 1, and we're going to read uh, verses 9 through 11. Verses 9 through 11. Amen. I found that passage of scripture. Again, we thank our new fellowship this morning for doing such a magnificent job and to our advisors that are working with them. Verse 9, chapter 1. Let the brother of lowly grief rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat but it withered the grass, and the flower faded. They are fallen, and the grace of the fashion of it perished. So also shall the rich man fade away in his way. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Eternal Father, Lord, we come again to say thank you. Thank you, thank you for another day that you have blessed us with. And Father, that you have allowed all of us to come into the house of worship this yes. morning. Mm -hmm. Whether in the house of worship, dear Lord, you have allowed us to come together, dear Lord. And we just thank you for that. Now, Lord, as we stand behind the sacred desk, Lord, we ask that thou would touch us, dear Lord. Yes. Father, yes. that thou would send the creature, dear Lord, the Holy Spirit, yes. so that they use my tongue to preach your word. Use our mind as a storehouse of your wisdom. Yes. Let that same spirit abide with these, your children, dear Lord, that someone will, dear Lord, decide, dear Lord, that whatever may be hindering them this day, dear Lord, Father, that they are going to press towards the mark of the house calling. This we do pray and we say thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. There, from the 11th verse. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withereth the grass and the flower uh, thereof followed, and the grace of the fashion of it perish. So shall the rich man fade away in his way. So shall the rich man fade away. In his way. <clears throat> we want to talk to you this morning. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. As we've been talking for the past few weeks, 
We've been talking about faith and trials and tribulations, and we talked a little bit about kind of wisdom and knowledge works together and how we, the Lord has brought us together. How knowledge is the know-how to do things, but wisdom is the knowledge or the ability of knowing when to use that knowledge. Amen. You know, everybody, we have some knowledge. We know how to put things, take things apart. We know how to put things together. But we need to understand when is the proper time to bring all that knowledge that we may have together. And I'm so thankful that God is providing us with the wisdom. I'm so thankful this morning that the shrine of our faith, uh, bringing about a work is patience. So as we come and we deal with certain things in our lives, we ought to be encouraged by those things that are afflicting us, those trials that come our way. But we must be reminded that this too will pass. Now the, the lesson here this morning really talks about the rich man and his ways. It, uh, verse 9 begins to talk about the poor man and how the poor man may be exalted, and how the rich man may be brought down. Uh, but it's, it's a lesson here to let us know, all of us know about what state of life we're in. There is a, there is a blessing in what we're going through, for God has, has something in store for us, and he wants us to be better than we are. No matter who you are, no matter how well you may think you have it, mm-hmm. God wants you to be better. Amen. Because Amen. we Amen. none of us have achieved or attained where we need to be. Amen. Every day, as our forefathers used to say, we are climbing Jacob's ladder. Every Amen. round goes high and high. 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 We have a destination that is not of this earth, but we are looking for Jesus Christ. And I don't know about you, but I acknowledge that I have some unfinished business in this life. I have some things that I have to accomplish in this life. But if the Lord shall come before that business is taken care of, I, I, I trust and pray that the Lord will take me to that land over there where Job declared that the wicked shall cease from troubling and the weary shall be at rest. Here, 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 here at the Amazon Chapel this morning, I, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, uh, we, we funeralized a friend of mine. Some of you may have even went to school with him, the class of 1980. And as we, as I sat there, when my wife and I was on vacation, he called me. He called and left messages while we was on vacation. I called him back, left him a message. He called me back. I called him back. We played phone tag. I left a left voice message saying, say, Rossi, you know, we are playing phone tag. But we're going to keep trying. And one day we're going to make connection. We will get together. Right. God called him home on March the 4th. We never did make that verbal connection. But I told his wife, we will make that connection. Because one thing about it, I believe in my heart that he lived the life. Was he perfect? Are you perfect? No. no. <laughs> but I do know that he's accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And he's striving to do that which is right. Amen. And I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And I'm striving to do that which is right. Yes. And one thing about it, you know the one person that never makes a mistake? Jesus. 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 <laughs> yeah, Jesus is Christ. He's perfect. Yes. But on this earth, there's someone who doesn't make a mistake. One who doesn't do anything. 
If you don't do anything, well, y'all already made a big mistake right there by not doing it. But you don't mess up anything. If you don't say anything, this is one of the reasons why our forefathers told us if you can't have, no anything, have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But I'm so glad that we can go on our knees. I can talk to God. I can tell them all about my shortcomings. I can tell them all about how I fail on this side. I can tell how our relationship doesn't work quite like I want it to work. But I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen us. And one of the things about it, as long as we are still here, we have breath in our bodies. There's hope. And we keep pressing. Don't let somebody take you out of your spiritual way. Satan is designed to, yes. to sift you like this. This is what Jesus told Peter. And Satan is trying to sift us right now. Yes. Satan is trying to tear you apart. Whether you are in the church, whether you are on the job, whether you are in the school, whether, wherever you are, Satan is trying to work on you. But I want to tell you right now, all of this too shall pass. The rich man, the poor man. It doesn't matter who you are for as the poor brother forgets all his earthly poverty. So the rich brother forgets all his earthly riches. As much as it is appropriate for the lowly to rejoice when they are lifted up by God, so it's important, it's appropriate and far more difficult for the rich to rejoice when they are brought to humiliation yeah. by their trials mm -hmm. and by their tribulations. You know, right now, there's a thing going on right now, mm -hmm. and, 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 and some of you, some of you may be affected, and most of you, if you have a, if you have a savings account, if you have a 401, if you have a, a retirement account, you look around and you see everything that goes on the news, they talk about Silicon Valley Bank, yeah. how, yeah. how yeah. it's yeah. failed, um, the bank up in New York, and there's, there's a report that there's some 60-some others, uh, local banks, that are on the verge of failure. The rich man. Lay not the treasures up on earth. We're both dudes, correct? But lay your treasures up in heaven. And, 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 and they see they see these things, they are trying your faith. They're trying to see, is your faith trusted in the money that you have in the bank? You see, some of us, we think because we got money in the bank, we got it made. But this too shall pass. One of the things I was reading the other day, I just share just share a little bit with, with you right now. Uh, one one of my one of my favorite uh, basketball players, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He, Kareem, he you know when he was playing during his playing days, he was an absolute beast. He was a force to be reckoned with, and there was hardly any player that's better than him. And that's still the, the, the debate whether Michael Jordan, uh, uh, LeBron, Kobe, who's the best player of all time. It's hard to gauge who's the best player of all time because they play in different eras. The game of basketball is different now. It's not played the same way. But Kareem won uh, multiple MVP awards. He won multiple NBA championships. He won multiple uh, uh, MVP awards for the championship. But above all that, Kareem has always made a name for himself off the court. Back in 2019, the, the Lakers legend proved that once again when he sold four NBA rings, mm -hmm. three MVP awards, mm -hmm. and other memorabilia to raise one two point eight million for a youth education yeah. program. Yeah. 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 He did it. He said that as the older he gets, mm -hmm. he realized that these things sitting on the shelf yeah. Yeah. does no one any good. Yeah. He looked out and he saw children yes. suffering. Yes. He saw people suffering. Yes. And he realized that he had something yes. that he yes. could help them with. Yes. Yes. We sit around with all of our good things. Yes. And we see all those around us suffer. Jesus. I know we can't cure the ills of the world. Mm -hmm. But this too is going to pass. Yes. See, one of the things about it, he knew he can't take these, those championships with him. He can't take those trophies with him. 
When you leave this earth, those things are left here behind. Yeah. Yeah. So he made up in his mind that he was going to take his riches yes. Yes. and help someone along the yeah. way. Amen. This too Amen. shall pass. Yes. We face the poor man. Mm -hmm. He goes through trials and tribulations yeah. because of his poverty. Mm -hmm. He goes through the situation and then and though we, we, we can understand the relatively poverty and the riches as trials or tests yes. of a living faith that a Christian may deal with, mm -hmm. it nevertheless seems that James has made a sudden shift in the subject here mm -hmm. from trials and rich and wisdom mm -hmm. to riches and humility. Mm -hmm. In some ways, the book of James is like the book of Psalm, Proverbs, excuse me, or other Old Testament wisdom literature. Mm -hmm. And it can jump from topic to topic and back again to the previous topic. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes in conversations, see, sometimes you're on one course and sometimes you look and you need to just change it just a little bit so somebody can understand what's going on, what you're going with. When you see things happening around you, you have to change the, change the conversation just a little bit, change the narrative yes. because people don't understand. When you talk about trials of faith, when you talk about knowledge and wisdom, and you look around and some people think that because you have riches and because you have it made, because you are in poverty, they think that you are suffering. But let me tell you something or another. You may have the riches of the world, but you're poor in spirit. You may have the what people consider poor in the world, but you're rich in the spirit. And church of the living God, I know some of you right now, some of you are waiting to hit that power ball, that mega ball. You want to have that jackpot. But I tell you right now, if you don't have the word of God, if you don't have God in your heart, it doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank. It will do you no good because this too shall pass. Let me tell you, let me see if I can just, just, just put it all together for you right now. I was standing this morning this week as I was getting ready to prepare myself. I was looking in the mirror this morning, and I noticed, I, I noticed, brothers, I noticed that there was a corner of my head that, that, that looked like it's beginning to thin a little more. You see, I used to have a full head of hair. When I was in high school, I, I sported an afro uh, uh, trustee book that it was out like this here. But the older I get, the hair begins to thin out. And in a sense, that's a trial within itself. Because whether you're male or female, unless you cut your hair or shave your head to that state, when you begin to see your hair thin, it begins to wear on Because it's a reminder that you're getting old. It's a reminder that time is winding up. You look in the mirror and you used to have a full smile there, a full 32 glistening the white teeth, and you look there now and you see that they are yelling a little bit. They are turning to the side. They are being fought. Some have fell out. Some are being pulled out. It's a reminder that time is winding up. You get out of the bed in the morning time and you try to stand up from the bed and you have to fall back on the bed because the legs won't support you like they used to support you. It's a reminder that time is winding up. You go, you go to your closet and you find the clothes that used to fit you so so snug like in that sexy manner. They don't fit you like that anymore. Why? Because time is winding up. I want to tell you right now, time is winding up. And whether you are rich, whether you are it does not matter because God has the ability to erase that poor man up. If you are in poverty, if it seems like everyone around you have more than you have, and it looks like they are talking about you, you don't worry about that because God will elevate you in due time. And church of a living God, when you look over across town and you see those nice big shiny houses, you see the fine cars, you see the fine clothes, you see the high education being known that this too shall pass because just like the grass, just like the grass shall pass away, just like the sun shines on the burning heat of the withering grass and the fire fadeth thereof and the grace of the fashion of it pass, so shall the rich man fade away in all his ways. I know that we have we have 
ministries we have word today that preaches prosperity and church of the living God. It is not the will of God that any of us God's people live in poverty. It's not that God's plan for you to be poor all your life. It's not God's plan for you to have to borrow all your life. But it's also you have to understand that God has sought us to be satisfied in the state that you live. Because the riches of this world, they will pass. Church of the living God. I look at my bank account and it looks pretty good, but I know that it can all be wiped away in a twinkling of an eye. Because this economy right now, it seems to be a little shaky. But church of the living God, I'm so glad that I have my hope and my faith rested solidly upon God Almighty. But no matter what happens on this side. And as we go through these trials, as we go through these tribulations, we go through sickness, we go through death, we go through heartache, we go through pain. We got to trust in God. We got to hold on to God to change your hand. Well, this is an encouragement for those who are dealing with the trials and they're dealing with the tribulations. See, trials serve to remind the rich and the high that though they are comfortable in this life, it is still only this life which fades as the grass, grows brown and fades, the flower fades away. Church of a living God, in the land of Israel, there are many kinds of beautiful flowers. The spring that spring up when the rain comes, but the last, they last only for a short time before withering away on the scale of eternity. This is how quickly the rich man also will fade away in all his pursuits. The riches of the world shall certainly fade away. But James says that the rich man also shall fade away. If we put our life and our identity into things that fade away, we will also fade away. How much better to put our life and our identity into things that would never fade away. If a man is only rich in this world, when he dies, he leaves this riches. But if a man is rich before God, when he dies, he goes to his riches. At church of the living God, I want to go. Where my riches is. I want to go over there. Where there'll be no more sickness. Yes. There'll be no more death. Yes. There'll be no more heartaches. Yes. No more pain. Yes, sir. And church of a living God, I know that we've got to come together. Mm -hmm. We've got to walk together. Yes. But I want to let you know, that's the song I'm to say. I'll go yes, I if I have, have to go by myself. Not, church of a living God, I want my wife by my side. Yes. Just like she's always by my side. Yes. But if my wife won't go, I'll go anyway. If my brother don't go, I got to go anyway. If my sister don't go, I got to go anyway. Because this world is filled with heartaches and pain. But I want to go over there where all wicked shall be put to rest. I want to go over there where Jesus said that I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am there, these may be also. Yes. Church of the living God, time is winding up. Yes. It's too late for playing church. Yes. It's too late for yes. talking. Yes. But we've got to walk yes. right now. Yes. We've got to put aside our differences. Yes. And church of the living God and hold on to God's unshaking yes. hand. Yes. Why do we got to do this? For God so loved yes. the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have life everlasting. And church of a living God, I want to see him for myself. I want to see my mother. I want to see my grandmother. I want to see my brother. I want to see my father. But church of a living God, they didn't die on the cross for me. It was Jesus who died there. It was Jesus who hung from the morning to the noon time, to the evening hour, church of the living God, they spared him in his side. They put crown of thorns on his head. They mocked him. They spat on him. They whipped him all night long. And he never said a mumbling word. And he did that for you and for me. And church of the living God, I want to see him. I want to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. I want to see him. I want to see him for myself. I want to be over there where, where my Lord and my Savior is. Church of the living God, time is winding up. I've got loved ones over there. You've got loved ones over there. But church, I'm going to need to set an example right here. 
there is unfinished business. From God, this too shall pass. Church of a living God, you might talk about me. They might talk about you. But this too shall pass. I want to go over there where every day is highly high. I want to go over there where I can see and praise God for everything that he's done for me. This too All the heartaches, all the pain, the trials, the tribulations. Time is winding up. Children, I, I commend all of you young folks. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Enjoy your life. But give God your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to tell you, it's a surety. Man that is born of a woman. Just a few days. So a few days in full yeah. trouble. Yeah. We didn't come here to stay forever. Yeah. Time is winding up. Yeah. And believe it or not, no matter what the world may tell you, yeah. there's either one of two destinations. Mm -hmm. Heaven yeah. or hell. And if you have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, Lord have mercy on you. Because Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Amen. Not to offend anyone. Not by Buddha. Not by Muhammad. Yeah, right. Not by any other way. Yeah. But no man cometh to the Father except by yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I want to tell you this morning, because of that, there is encouragement mm -hmm. for everything that I've ever dealt with in my life. And the sad part about it is most of the trials that I've been through in my life, I've brought upon myself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have to follow the word of God. Amen. God has given us a road now. Yes, he He's right. given us his word. Yes. And he's saying that obedience is better than something. Amen. Amen. If we just walk according to the word of God. Amen. The grass fades. Mm -hmm. As the grass withers, mm -hmm. the fowl flower falleth mm -hmm. all there. Yes. And church of the living God, I want to let you know we're withering. If you don't believe me, look at all the signs of the flower that's falling off. The hair is falling. The teeth is weakening. Even your hearing is getting weaker. Your eyesight is getting down. These old footsteps, they're good and short. But one thing I do know. Brother Wynn said, I don't even know what your selection is. But send it up, my tender. I don't know what the future holds for me. But I do know one thing. That I've given God my heart. And each and every day, I'm asking him to make me better than I was the day before. Amen. Because I want to see him. It's a shame to be in the church 40, 50, 60 years and still miss the mark. Amen. Amen. Each and every day, we all rededicate ourselves. This is the reason why take up your cross daily. And follow our faith. For God sent his son. Amen. That's all the Lord has given me to give. Yes, Amen. Quiet your able, quiet your song that you have. Let us stand. The doors of the church are always open. But one more time, we extend the invitation to you that you may come and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior.
time to swine it up. Don't let it pass. Don't let this moment pass. And you think you're on the course of green. And you think the hell that it's going to be for you.
just you can't live off the laws of yesterday. But this is a new day. But she's come forward, she says she just wanted to dedicate herself to the Lord today. Amen. Amen. And this is important because as we rededicate ourselves to the Lord, we put ourselves on notice that people watch us. And 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 just as as pastor, just as her husband, we we just come right back. And and I ask that you, every one of you would just stand because we're gonna we're gonna do this as supposed to pray our life to uh, those that would like to come and surround her, um, uh, just to reach out and and uh, just reach out right for your hand towards her. Father, I stretch my hands to you. Yes. Father, if thou withdraw thyself from me, yes. oh, where shall I go? Yes. For no other help I know, Father, yes. but you right now. Yes. Father, Lois has come this morning, dear Lord, <coughs> listening to the sermon, dear Lord. Yes. And Father, knowing, dear Lord, that she can get courage through the trials and tribulations yes. that she goes through. Father, we are dealing with so much right now. Yes. Father, death has been defeated. Yes. Father, our son and daughter, dear Lord, are faced in the hospital, dear Lord. Father, with the with the, a, a pregnancy, dear Lord, that tried to come early. But Lord, we thank you, dear Lord, that you styled off the birth, dear Lord. So that it would not be too early, dear Lord. And all these things, dear Lord, that go along in her head, dear Lord. Father, she has to deal with the burdens that I bear, dear Lord. And Father, sometimes, dear Lord, the load just get heavy, dear Lord. And Father, we question ourselves. But Lord, this morning, dear Lord, she come, dear Lord. Father God, rededicated herself to you right now. Saying, Father, use her, dear Lord, in the way that you would have her to be used. Father God, let the naysayers, dear Lord, voices, dear Lord, not be heard. But Father, let your voice voice be heard. Father, that she'll walk when you tell her to walk. She'll run when you tell her to run. She'll speak when you tell her to speak. She'll remain silent when you say be silent. Now hold her voice. Father, I just thank you right now for her, dear Lord. I thank you, dear Lord, for her, her, her standing by my side. For Father, even in the midst, dear Lord, Jesus. when we deal with the problems within the churches, dear Lord, Father, and the weight is upon me, dear Lord, Jesus. Father, I thank you, dear Lord, for just hurry, encouraging me, dear Lord, just to hold on and seek God. So, Lord, I just thank you right now. And Father, I wrap my arms around my wife. And Father, I say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for all, dear Lord. That will come just like she did, as humble as they know how, rededicating their lives to you. Father, for it's not about what the world thinks about us, but Lord, it's about where we need to be in the relationship with you. So, Father, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now, as we look to the Lord to be this minute, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest, rule, and abide with us all henceforth and forevermore. Let this body say, Amen. 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 Fellowship, welcome.